In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a quick, simple, seamless pattern that you can use to fill backgrounds or layers or, or shapes or whatever. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with a, a small file. We're going to file new. And we're going to create a workspace that's 300 pixels. Be sure you're not inches. 300 pixels so we're in pixels here make um, resolution 72 RGB color and we can leave the background as white so let's go ahead and say create so here we have our smaller workspace and we're gonna make this pattern with just some shapes um, and then I'll come back and I'll show you how you can do it with just a simple brush as well so we're gonna start with a shape tool down here at the bottom there's some different shape tools we're gonna use this ellipse tool and we're going to go ahead and just draw an ellipse here. And we're going to hold the shift key to make sure it's round. And it's black, but we can change that. We can either change the color here just by clicking on this, and we can pick a different color. Let's say we want this blue color. Um, or you can actually, in your layers panel, you can double-click this, and you can pick a different color from there. So either way, it doesn't really matter which, which way you... You do it. So let's use this purple color. We'll say okay. Okay, let's go ahead and take our move tool and let's make sure it's kind of centered up. We usually can use the smart guides or the guides just to pop up as you're moving it around. It'll kind of center for you. So now what we're going to do is we're going to offset this, basically cut this in half and move the pieces to the corners. So we're going to go up to filter and we're looking for an offset. It's under other an offset and we need to convert this to a smart object before we can do anything else to it so we'll go ahead and click convert to a smart object and we started our document as 300 pixels wide and 300 pixels tall so we're going to offset this by half so 150 by 150 and you can go ahead and highlight that and type it in if it's not half we'll go ahead and say okay so again, you notice that it basically cut that in half and it moved the, the shape that we created to the corners. Let's go ahead and create another shape. This time I'm going to use a custom shape. And I'm going to use this flower, but there's different shapes you can, you can use. I'm going to use this flower here. And again, I'm going to click and drag, and I'm going to hold the shift key to keep it perfectly symmetrical or round. You'll notice again it created a new layer and I can change the color of that layer again either by going to the properties of it. Or double click actually just double clicking here you can change it. Let's make this um let's go light purple. And we'll say okay. Again, let's go ahead and center that up. We can just click on it and kind of get the snap to the center. Now we're going to add one more shape. We're going to add a circle on top of that. So let's grab our ellipse tool again and let's make a circle. I'm going to hold the shift key again to make sure it's perfectly centered or circular. And I'm going to double click or click and make this, let's say this yellow. And again, I'm going to Grab this and get that centered up. Okay, at this point, we have all these different layers, and we can make all these layers into our pattern, which is what I want to do. So let's go ahead and we're going to go select all. So that selects all the space that we need. And then we're going to go to Edit, Define Pattern. And there's a little preview of our pattern. We can give it a name if you want, but you don't have to. You can just say OK. So let's go ahead and test our pattern. Let's go ahead and make a new file. So we're going to File, New. And let's make this 1,000 by 1,000. Doesn't matter really how big it is, but as long as it's not too big. Just need to be able to test it. Create. 
Oh, here's our workspace, a little bigger than we had before. It's a thousand by a thousand. And let's go ahead and, and test this pattern. There's different ways you can do this, but the simplest way to do this is just to go edit, fill, pick pattern from your contents here, and then find your pattern. And this is the one I just created right here. We'll say OK. And there's our pattern that we created. Now, the problem with this is we can't scale it. Um, we can't move it. It just fills that layer. So a better way to do it is to either use an adjustment layer or an effect. So I'll show you both of those. So let's go ahead and undo that. Um, adjustment layer, we can just come up to adjustment and we can go to pattern. And here we can get a pop-up dialog and we can actually scale this, make it smaller or bigger. And we can also um, let's go ahead and say okay here. And then we can also move it around. You, you can see that it's endless basically. It's, you can move it wherever you want. Okay, well that's one way. Let's go ahead and undo that. Control Alt Z. Let's go ahead and make a new layer. And let's go ahead and fill that layer with any color really. And let's add an effect. Let's go to effect and we'll go to pattern overlay. And let's go ahead and pick our pattern. This is the one we created. There it is. Now here you have some options. You can change the blending mode. There's lots of different blending modes you can use, but if you just want to see your pattern solid, you're just going to leave it at normal. And there it is. Now again, you can scale this. Move it around, it's seamless. And we can ask, we can do different blending modes like I talked about. And you can mess with the opacity. There's lots of different things you can do when you're using it as an effect. Okay, so let's go back and let's just talk about a, a real simple pattern. You can turn these layers off if I don't want that yellow, I could actually come back. I still have a select all. If I went to edit, define pattern, you'll notice now my preview doesn't have the little circle. So you can turn layers off and on and make any pattern you really want. So let's go ahead and hit cancel. I'm not going to make that pattern. Let's go ahead and just turn all these layers off. And let's just go select, deselect. And let's just take a regular paintbrush. And let's make a new layer. So there's our new layer. And I'm just going to paint a cute little heart. Okay. Now, if we go to filter, other, offset, again, we're offsetting it by half. Say OK. Let's make another layer. And this time, Obviously not as clean as the other way, but I'm just showing you a different way to make these. And let's take our brush and let's grab a larger brush, harder edge brush. Let's increase our brush size with our bracket keys. And blue here. So there's our pattern. Oh, there's our design. Let's go edit or select all, edit, find pattern. There it is. Say OK. Let's come back over our test image and let's add, let's go to our effect. We can double click on pattern overlay and instead of picking that pattern we can make pick the one we just did. And turn up the opacity. Normal, say OK, and there's the pattern we just made. So very simple. There's lots of different ways you can make these patterns, but the basic thing is what you do is you, you use one layer, you use the filter, 
other and offset, offset one of them, and then paint something else in the middle. Good grief. And then select all and define pattern. 